The Tea Jubilee is finally happening, and right here in Shopville. Oh, Cookie, look! That's Queen Cake, the world-famous tea expert. She seems nice. Hey, Apple, what's that? That's the VIP section for very important people. I'm very important, right? Excuse me. I believe that tea was intended for me. Whoops. 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 Bubblesha didn't mean anything by it, Ms. Queen Cake. And who are you? Jessie Cake, ma'am. I'm the Tea Jubilee's biggest fan. Fancy yourself a tea expert, do you? I... Yeah, she does. Bubblesha, I can... You think you can tea better than me? Yeah, she does. No, I... All right, then. You like tea? <coughs> Let's have tea. Oh. oh! It's a tea party throwdown! You know the rules. Good manners takes all. Yes, Queen Cake wins. No, you had me beat. You threw the match on purpose. Why? Because you're Queen Cake, a tea hero. I could never beat you. This compassion and sportsmanship is exactly what the Tea Jubilee is all about. Jessie Cake, you're the real winner here. Wow, I can't believe you threw that tea match on purpose. Uh, yeah. Jessie Cake? <laughs> I'll never tell. After all, you heard what she said. I won the Tea Jubilee! <laughs> Shopkins, Shopkins. Shopkins. Everybody, I think Shopville is just about ready for inspection. Once the Tea Jubilee official gives Shopville a final approval, we'll be all set to host the big tea competition. Hmm. What? Huh? Why are you humming? Everything looks great. I just really want to make a good first impression. Just wondering if there's a way to make Shopville feel a little more, I don't know, European. Ooh, I know. We could start talking with European accents. That's not an accent that exists anywhere. Don't worry about it. Shopville looks fantastic. It was just a thought. You know what? If Jessie Cake wants European, I say we give her European. I say that's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll stop doing that. Good morning. You must be the Tea Jubilee official here for the inspection. Indeed. We are so excited to be hosting this year's Tea Jubilee. I hope you find everything is to your liking. I say, what is that? Um, I don't know what that is. Ah, I see a very European clock tower says it's 10 o'clock. That's true. European Canal! I... I... I don't know what to say. I... Oh, what now? Oh. And now, the Shopville running off the bones! Miss Cone, I am so sorry. Never in my life have I experienced anything of this kind. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I... I love it. You what now? She what now? Every year it's the same old tea party. Sit quietly, sip tea, the notable absence of gondolas careening down the street. Uh-huh. The excitement of Shopville is exactly what the Tea Jubilee needs this year. A little unexpected fun. Yeah, did 
didn't see that coming. Congratulations, Jessie Cake. You may consider Shopville approved. Let the tea jubilee begin. Oh, here comes that bull again. Watch me run. <laughs> Shoppies and Shopkins, thanks to you, Europe's grandest, most exciting competitive tea party is coming to Shopville! And that means we'll be hosting the world's foremost experts on all things tea. So we have to put our best foot forward and show them that Shopville knows how to tea party. Who can tell me the proper way to stir a cup of tea? Who can tell me the difference between an Earl Grey and a Darjeeling Black? Uh, uh, um, what's tea? We have work to do. Good, good, Cheeky. Watch that spoon clinking on the cup when you stir. Bubblisha, elbows off the table. Donatina. Perfect pinky positioning peppermint. Oh, I've never been so proud. I think our work here is done. Wait, where's Buncho? <laughs> Did I do it wrong? <sighs> it's a good thing I like a challenge. Okay, just take it nice and easy. No. No. Definitely no. It's no use. I give up. Look, Buncho! He's doing it! Perfection. <laughs> ah, close enough. Fitness routine. I'm working on my car. Yep, another beautiful day in. Whoa! Jesse Cake, are you okay? <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? Jesse Cake! <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? You didn't get much sleep last night, did you? I was up all night watching highlights from last year's Tea Jubilee. Competitive tea drinking? I watch it every year. Oh, but I want to see it in person so bad. Why don't you? The tea jubilee is always held somewhere in Europe. And that's so far. Guys, Shopkins huddle. This tea thing means so much to Jessie Cake. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I doubt it. Say what you're thinking. We have to figure out a way to get them to do the next one here in Shopville. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking about candy. But I like that idea. Don't you worry, Jessie Cake. You may not be able to make it to Europe, but we are going to figure out a way to bring Europe to you! <sighs> if this video doesn't convince them to have that big tea party here in Shopville, nothing will! Hello, and welcome to Shopville, a wonderful place to visit and hopefully the home of this year's Tea Jubilee! We have so much to show you. Tell them, Cookie. 
We do. Shuffle is the perfect place for the tea, Jubilee. We've got it all. A grocery store. Plenty of parking. And just look how much everybody here loves tea. I love tea. <laughs> oh. And scent. Now we just wait for them to call and tell us they're moving the big tea party to Shuffle. Hello? Yes? Really? No way! Okay, bye! <gasps> They're going to have the tea jubilee in Shopville? No, wrong number. Hello? <gasps> They're going to have the tea jubilee in Shopville! We did it! Yes! We did it! I can't wait to see the look on Jesse Cake's face when we tell her! You mean... I'm finally going to get to see the Tea Jubilee in person? That's... that's... <sighs> we'll tell her again when she wakes up. will be revealed soon! Uh, actually, now! All will be revealed right now! Hi, everybody! I'm Rainbow Cake! And I'm Sarah Fairy Cake! We've invited you all here today to plan Jessica Cake's upcoming birthday! Wow! You invited us to a party to plan another party? Of course! What better way to plan a party than by partying? So let's hear some party ideas! You in the front row, give me something good. Uh, how about like a dress up party? Loving it! Dress up. I know, like Dracula. No. Nope. How about superheroes? Or sailors? Or hold the phone, people! What if we all came dressed as pandas? Wait, surprise! Let's have a surprise party! Yeah, I think the element of surprise might be hard to pull off. And why is that now? Because there's a giant clock in the middle of Shopville counting down to her birthday. Plus, I'm kind of standing right here. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Jessie Cake. It's your birthday, so you needn't lift a finger. Party people, I hope you left room for dessert. My, my, who is this apple of my eye? Hey. Hey. Lil Blaze. Apple Blossom. You dance? I dance. Then why are we still standing here like a couple of mannequins? Girl, bring that beat back. Woo! Those moves are lit! Just like these candles. Yeah. Drop that core. Yeah. Get after it. Mm. Uh, show me what you got. I don't have anything to show him. I, uh, I mean, I got pudding for y'all. So, uh, enjoy. Okay, gang, let's take a break and enjoy some pudding. 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 Pandas! What about a panda party? New bouquet, we've already done that one. You know what? Leave it to me and I'll surprise you. Surprise. Surprise! Flower delivery. Yes, over here. For Apple Blossom. For me? Yes, I'm from your secret admirer. I know. I'm just as excited as you are. So, just to clarify, I have no flowers. Uh, Sarah. Already on it. Yes, I'm 
waiting on a delivery of flowers for Rainbow Kate. What do you mean you ran out because of Valentine's Day? You won't be restocked for two months? Ah! Well, at least we have the venue sorted. Okay, so the venue has been double booked. I'm just gonna pop outside for a quick scream if anyone needs me. We should help her out with the venue and flowers. Hmm. This is the best birthday I've ever had. You know, I wasn't going to reveal my identity, but this day is too romantic not to. We can have it in the park. There's plenty of flowers there, and it's super romantic. So Apple's secret admirer might reveal himself. Unless you want to tell us who he is. Nothing would make me happier, but I've been sworn to secrecy. It's the flower's oath. So, yeah, party in the park. We have the peanut brittle for dessert. Now, just be careful because it's quite hard. Oh no, are you okay? My tooth fell out. I think you're gonna need a crown. Come on, I'll take you to the dentist. Oh, uh, hey guys, what's up? I'm just hanging out. I broke my tooth. She what now? She broke her tooth. It was horrible. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat hard candy ever again. We better go. See ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hard candy is the worst. Good morning, little Blaze. <laughs> Come on, Tiara. You know it's Lil. Does Tiara look like the type of shoppy that would say, Lil, it's so uncouth. Rainbow, you appear to be more frazzled than usual. Frazzled? I'm not frazzled, I'm fine. I was meant to sort out costume ideas three days ago, not to mention the birthday girl needs a new crown, but hey, I'm totes fine. <laughs> so good to see you, okay, thanks, bye. A princess should never celebrate a birthday without her crown. Fashion boutique. Oh, this is... Your, Your hand, hand is, is on, on my, my crown. crown. Your, Your crown? crown? My, my crown. crown. Are you sure you're in the right section? Are you sure you're in the right shop? The more affordable outlets are in the next town over. <gasps> you have good taste. As do you. Tiara has impeccable taste. But this purchase is not for me. It's for Jessie Cake's birthday. Jessie Cake? Why didn't you say so? Do not fuss, my dears. There's plenty of sparkle to go around. You know, Rainbow hasn't picked a costume idea for the party yet. Maybe we could help her out. Share the sparkle, so to speak. Agreed. A little help never hurt anyone. <gasps> a little help? Who taught you how to speak? Little. I meant a little help. These shoes are stunning. I mean, look at me. Is that really me? It is reflection of you in mirror, but yes, it is you. Oh, okay, I'll take them. Perfect. Now, where will you be wearing these wonderful shoes? I'll be walking down the aisle. Darling, I think we can do better than this small mart. No, I mean, I'm getting married. Oh, congratulations. Darling! It's going to be a perfect summer beach wedding. A beach wedding? But you cannot wear shoes to the beach. Oh, I never thought about that. How about a forest wedding? Snow wedding? You know what? I think I need more wedding info. Hey, guys! Let me guess. More wedding magazines, Bridie? Every issue you've got, Cheeky. Hey, guys! How's the tooth, Jessica? Oh, 
it's all fixed now, Rainbow. That's great. Can you help us out with something party related? Of course. Great. Can you show us where the music store is? I'm thinking about booking a live band for the party. Actually, it's way easier to control the volume on a sound system, you know? Sometimes it's really hard to hear yourself when there's loud music playing. I love this track so much! Bye, guys! So how are the party preparations going? It's going to be so much fun! We're having it in the park! The park? That's the perfect location! For, uh, for birthday. Actually, on second thought, Cheeky, forget the magazines. I gotta go! Now I get to unpack all of these. How fun for me. Yo, Braddy, what's with all the white decorations? This party is starting to look like a wedding. Uh, Jesse Cake just really likes lace, I guess. Guess, apparently. Where is everybody? Oh, they are so uninvited! No, no, no! This is all wrong! This isn't what I wanted! No, but it's what I wanted. You haven't asked for my opinion once this entire time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I guess I just get a bit carried away sometimes. What is it that you wanted? This. Everybody contributing ideas for the party and doing what they love. Guys, I have something to tell you. I'm getting married! Uh, to who? Oh. I knew I was missing something. Yep, groom. Or maybe Apple and her secret admirer can get married. What? <laughs> no, we can't. I mean, no, they can't. Whoever he is, <laughs> I don't know. Why are you all asking me? Nobody asked you. You just randomly blurted that out. Lil Blaze, you're my secret admirer? <sighs> yes, but I don't want to get married. I just wanted to know if you'd maybe be my date for the party. Of course! <laughs> Jesse Cake, I'm all ears. Anything you want, it's yours. Actually, there is one more thing I'd like you to do. Heads up! Guys, I caught the bouquet! I'm practically engaged! <laughs> Check you later! Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? <laughs> you can have the dustpan. Ugh, come on, Apple. This is such a boring way to clean. Let's have some fun with it. How can you even make cleaning fun? Trash hockey. Maybe trash hockey isn't the best idea. <laughs> party to begin with, pretty pressy. Well, at least I have your present, Jesse Cake. I'll just pop it over here. No! no, no. So, full disclosure, I came here in more of a party mood rather than a cleaning mood. So, I might take off. Okay, bye guys. Good luck! Uh, I have 
have zero motivation to clean right now. It's so hot. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! I think she's got it. If we want to get in the mood to move, we need a catchy song to clean to. That's a great idea! Does anybody have any catchy music, though? Blah, blee, butter, boo, a bit of beep, boo, bop, bop, beep. Uh, thanks for that, Max. But I was thinking of something a little more upbeat. Dear Audio Diary, I think my biggest fear is somebody listening to my diary entries. I really hope that never happens to me. Uh, minor technical glitch! I, uh, I mean this! This is the right track! Sparkles and rainbow glitter everywhere. Colorful streamers on the floor. All of the party fever's gone right out the door. But wait, I know there's so much more we could be. Spinning purple cotton candy, edible confetti in the air. Flying on a magic carpet, fill it in with magic markers. Say the word and we'll go anywhere. The grandest mall, the greatest place. A never ending shop is free in outer space. That old mess can wait, there's so much more on our plate. Let's go paint the town rainbow. instead. That's oh, yeah. That's my oh, yeah, yeah. Idea. Uh, I'm so thirsty from this heat. I think we drank all the soda last night. Is that a barrage? Oh, it's so hot. I think it's a barrage. Juice. <laughs> <gasps> hey guys, little Blaze has a pool. Cannonball! This thing. 
ain't no pool, it's sweat. Yeah! Uh, yuck! Uh, uh, what do y'all expect? It's hot, and I already got a candle on my head 24-7. Guys, don't even sweat it! Really? <laughs> Couldn't resist. I know how we can beat the heat. How? Let's just say I might <laughs> know somebody with an actual pool. I wonder who it is. Guys, it's me. I'm the one with the pool. I was being cute. Oh. Last one over to my place has to swim at little places. Sweat tub! Yeah, let's go. Oh, y'all real judgy for a pool owner. I thought y'all be cool. Cannonball! Ready. It's time to stop, Rainbow. I can't! I won't! I must continue, Tiara! I must continue! Besides, it's too much fun. Who doesn't want a party? I guess so, but I feel like we're using any excuse to throw a party these days. That's not true. Are you sure about that? Remember the other day? Good grief! It is warm in here. Why is the AC turned up so high? Housewarming party! That is not what a housewarming party is! We don't try to turn everything into a party. You sure about that? Remember the other day? Right on! bit of truth to what you're saying. Hey, gang, what are you chatting about? All of the parties we've thrown lately. There's been so many. That's true. <laughs> we've had some pretty fun times over the past few weeks, though. Totally. Remember that super exclusive party we had the other night? Woo! How cool is this? So exclusive. <laughs> I feel like a celebrity. That wasn't an exclusive party. You came 10 hours after we all left. <laughs> Maybe we should take a break from all the partying. You're right. We should focus on work. Or maybe we could take a vacation instead. Absolutely. Absolutely. We go somewhere to London. I'll arrive three days late. <laughs> Check you later. my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, hey! 
no fraternizing with the competition. Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mart! <sighs> Soccer. <laughs> Soccer? This is too easy. I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Ugh. Mussy, mussy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? for the opening ceremony, and you are not helping. Relax. I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... <laughs> like this. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? You want to be a winner? You need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's like kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the Toy Store, Sports Store, Music Store, Tech Tower, Fashion Boutique, and the Small Mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins! Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. 
too cold. Lippy Lips fails the jump. Now for team sport. Simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fan and diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> so what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable. But I'm still not happy about this! Ninety-nine, one hundred. Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. It's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree. Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes. There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they're off. Linspring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no! An early upset as Lin falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching their next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes long. Sorry, Cheeky. I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mart currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> chosen to combine their members, the Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just cheeky chocolate. Okay then, let's get this relay underway! On your marks, get set. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple, Toasty, and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. 
Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks, get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, the phone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams. <gasps> what an amazing end to the games. Check you later. Jump in, jump in. the Shopville Speedway. What a day it is to be racing. Perfect conditions on the track for our three competitors. Toasty Pop, Cheeky Chocolate, and Strawberry Kiss. Who do you think is going to bring home the championship title? Eh. You're absolutely right, Kooky. Who knows who will win? It could be anyone's race. And we're off. Strawberry Kiss pulling ahead with an early lead. Follow closely by Cheeky and Toasty as we enter Shopville. camping trip I had in mind. Yeah, why are we here, Lippy? Shady Diva is back in Shopville unveiling her new hat collection. Aren't you excited? <sighs> Guys, can you at least try to not embarrass me this time? Hello, <sighs> darlings. Dusty, you beautiful creature, is that you? Why on earth are you waiting in this line? Come, my darling. Uh, what about my friends? Oh, it is far too bright outside to be judging your friend. Come, all of you, quickly. I am so glad you are here, darling. You are the inspiration behind my latest creation. Don't I look fab? Ah! Toast! Ah! They're everywhere! Uh, Toasty, that's just your reflection. Oh, so, my darling, will you change your mind and travel the world with me? You will get all the free clothes you could ever want. No thanks. I'm already wearing the real thing. What about Lippy dressed as me? Still, ah! maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off again. <gasps> Never have I laid eyes on such beauty. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Check you later. Shop in, shop in. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? and Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature! Ah! Uh, maybe that, like, isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed! What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so magical! It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. 
you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. Ha. Like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later.